plus interest. Hey, T, I'm sorry, but your checks have been going straight to my business manager. Mm -hmm. And I forgot all about it. I would have stopped you from sending them a long time ago. So I guess I'm supposed to say thank you for giving me back my money. Well, legally, it's my money. What about ethically? A lawyer talking about ethics, huh? That's almost funny. So is the fact that you're standing at my door. Well, I wouldn't have to be standing at your door if you didn't invite me in. Well, that's not going to happen. Thanks for giving me back my money, Russell. Oh, okay. So that's how it is. A brother comes bearing a five-figure check and gets a door slammed in his face. All right. Come in. Surprise. Hi. Hi. Mm. Oh. I'm sorry to drop by unannounced. No, you're kidding. I'm so glad to see you. No. Especially after our last conversation, I wasn't sure when I'd get to see you again. Yeah, I was thinking about the prenup, and you were right. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, baby. I'm so glad that you know that this is not a comment on how much I love you or trust you. Yeah, I know that. So, my lawyer and I came up with some ideas that will make us both happy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just two days ago, you wouldn't even consider a prenup, but now you've gone and had your own drawn up. Like you said, it's important to know what belongs to whom. Well, I didn't quite say it like that, but... <laughs> what property, right? What property do you own? My yard. I have to protect it. can belong to only me. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, that seems fair. I'm glad we agree. Okay, let's get back to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. say that to you. Richie, hang on a sec. What? Our report is due tomorrow. I know that. Man, Principal Gorman would be all over me. He'll call my mom and everything if he catches me slipping. Ahmad, chill. If old man Gordon gets crazy, just blame everything on me. I'll be apologetic. It'll all be cool. Well, everything would be cool if you just cut the gossip. Now, I need you to find out which pope issued the second crusade. Okay, okay. Don't give birth to a farm animal. Do it in a second. No, I'm... <sighs> Ahmad's really turning into a little whiny ass. Real whiny ass little bitch. <sighs> I have something to tell you guys. And I don't want you to make a big deal out of it, okay? In fact, the only reason I'm telling you is so you'll know that it's not a big deal to me. Well, it's not a big deal, Terry. <sighs> Russell showed up at my house this morning. Russell, who is cute. Russell, the asshole who's been taking my money for the past five years. I don't believe it. You are lying. Thank you. I wish I was. He showed up all smiling. Surprise. <sighs> That same tired old rap. Like somebody is supposed to be moved because he can quote from the life of Iceberg Slim. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's just take a moment what? and celebrate the fact that you, it no longer hurts you to talk about that tired old nigga. Hello. Okay. Terry, you should be very proud of yourself. You really moved on. Yeah. I have moved on. Mm -hmm. Plus, he gave me back my money. All of it? With interest. Oh, well, like Mama used to say, Law works in mysterious ways. Tell me though. Ooh. If that Josephine is mad, I understand why she's going to marry him. Let's go say hi. Okay. I'm gonna need another drink to look at the rest of this art. Well, I'm gonna go with her. This time we'll be there in a minute. So, and this one's called Source Natural. I painted it for Josefina. Terry. Hi. Hi. When did you get here? Just a few minutes ago. Maxine Bird with me. Hello, Carlos. Hey, Terry. You brought Max and Bird? Thank you very Please, much. Please, you don't have to thank me. As soon as they heard Josefina, they wanted to support you. Well, that's sweet of them. I'm going to go find them and say hi. Okay, I'll be right back. Please, yes. So, uh... Having a patron sponsor a full showing of your work must feel really good. Yeah. 
I finally impressed a few of the critics. Mm. But my harshest critic won't give me a chance. What do you mean? I mean, I never expected you to try to come between me and Josefina. Well, I haven't. Oh, come on, Terry. Where else would she get this prenuptial idea? I haven't put Josefina up to anything. But yes, I do think she needs to protect herself from any future problems. The only problem my fiancé and I have is people who don't mind their own business. You know, you seem a little sensitive for someone with no problems. But, excuse me, while I go mind my own business. Can I help you? No, man, I, I'm all right. Look, man, you got to do better than that or you're going to have to get off my porch. I'm sorry, I must have the wrong house. I thought this was Terry Joseph's porch. Give me your name, I'll tell you you came by. My name is Russell Banks. I prefer to wait, thank you. Russell Banks, you play for the Raiders, right? Right. <laughs> Damon Carter. Terry knows I'm a big fan. I'm surprised she never told me you were friends. Well, I'm not surprised. When Terry and I divorced, wasn't very friendly. So, I guess we'll both have to just wait till she gets home, huh? I guess so. Mm. Well, since you're waiting... You might as well wait inside. to come to sports bar. I think he was waiting on the porch when I got here. Well, so naturally you invited him in. Well, if this is a bad time, I could come back later. No, nah, it's no problem. I'm gonna go watch the game oh. in the den, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really mature. So, what do you want, Russell? I just want to talk. Okay. You got four minutes. Hey. Hello. You. you know, I've been thinking about it. Maybe I should strip. <laughs> Dion makes a lot of money doing it. <laughs> Well, I'm, what, what's so funny? Bird, you, you, you closed the curtains just to put your pajamas on. Uh, so I know you ain't gonna take your clothes off in public. So now you know what I won't do? Fine, babe. You want a strip? Strip. Just let me know where and when so I can be front row center. Ugh. Tomorrow. Nine o'clock. Amateur night at the funk box. Okay. Terry. Look, I can't pretend this Russell thing isn't strange as hell. Why didn't you tell me about him? I, I, you know, I don't tell anybody about Russell. It's old news, babe. Same way Miles was old news. You didn't tell me about him either. We had to run into him on the street. What's your point? My point is you have a lot of secrets and surprises. Oh, you mean secrets and surprises like Christine? Please don't, don't change the subject. Oh, I thought the subject was secrets and surprises. It is. It is. So if you have any more of those secrets and surprises, I'd like to know. Before they greet me on the porch. <laughs> 